Christian Bale is doing an American accent again. I mean, and he's, his weight has changed. But, you know, it, it, he did that again too. Amsterdam was directed by David O. Russell. It stars Christian Bale, Margot Robbie, Chris Rock, and an array of star-studded actors. This film tells a story in the early days of America, in about the early 1900s, in which there are three people that begin to become suspected of something that's going on, that's taking place, and along the way, a bunch of twists and turns happen. I'm saying that that way because of the fact that this movie has a lot packed into one, and it's kind of hard to understand everything that's taking place in this movie, if I'm being entirely honest with you. Because I'm not going to lie and say I perfectly understood this film on the first watch. While I understood it, I was kind of struggling to keep with all the plot lines. Because while I usually love David O. Russell films, I think he's one of the better directors we have. This one's not one of his better films. There's just a lot going on in this movie at once. Like, there's a lot of plot threads, a lot of characters, and a lot of stuff that has to all culminate in the end to work. And... The way we have to go about getting there is very convoluted, it takes a lot of work, it's very intricate, and you can get lost along the way with just everything hanging off the ends, and it kind of feels like films we've seen before. That's my number one issue with this movie, because though I think this film probably has some really brilliant performances, Christian Bale is phenomenal in here. I mean, he's just great. Like, pretty much whatever you put Christian Bale in, he will probably kill it. Margot Robbie's fantastic, Chris Rock is hilarious. And no, I, guys, I know what you're all thinking when I say Chris Rock, so if you're thinking that, don't think that. Anyway, so beyond that point, uh, so the acting here is absolutely great. I think this film also has some really great dialogue. Like, it doesn't matter how the script actually is, the dialogue in here is hilarious. It's the typical dialogue you would get from these kinds of movies, but it's really witty, it's funny, it's smart, it's clever. That was an aspect I really liked looks gorgeous shot brilliantly absolutely love that part love the atmosphere they captured encapsulated the era they were in beautifully there are some really funny gags in here that i think are just funny sometimes in the weirdest way but i found them to be entertaining but aside from that when you go beyond just the main stuff like the surface there's not that much left it just kind of keeps going it meanders a little bit it's a little old not much going on here that we haven't seen before in the past and it doesn't make the film bad it's just it's okay and that's the biggest issue with the film is it's okay the entire time and it doesn't get past okay and i want it to so i found myself a little bit underwhelmed by this entire thing i was worried about this going in they got affirmed and I don't know, there's just something lacking from this film to give it everything it needed. It's the first try-hard Oscar bait film, I think, of the year. Like, there are films going for the Oscar, this is like the try-hard film, and I think maybe you tried a little too hard along the way. It's an alright film, it's an okay watch. If you want to see it, and you think it's going to be fun, I'd say go see it. If not, you're not going to miss out much. You can always catch it later if you want. If not, you're fine. It's pretty good overall, but I think there's some stuff there that's lacking. I'm going to give Amsterdam a 5 out of 10. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you all next time.